what's up you guys it's me Jill and I'm annoyed as hell today <laughs> I was gonna you know drink a nice glass of wine but it's 11 30 in the morning and I don't want to encourage bad drinking habits to my audience and I have a headache so if I drink alcohol it's gonna make it worse so so today I decided to create this segment on my channel called things I have an issue with where basically I complain and rant about things that obviously I have an issue with I was gonna call this what grinds my gears but then I thought people in the comments are probably gonna say oh that's original didn't rip that off from family guys so you know what really grinds my gears you America fuck you Diane <sighs> I just scratched that idea off then I thought I should probably call this things I have a problem with but then I realized that's a segment on Ready to Glare's channel. And again, I don't want people to say, oh, you're copying her. You're so jealous of her that you want to copy her and see all her views. I'm like, no, that's not the case. I love Ready to Glare. I follow her channel. Do I take inspiration from her? Yes. Am I trying to copy her? No. Like, who am I to copy her? Me? Compared to her, I am nobody. So, chill out, dude. So today, as you probably have guessed by the title, I'll be talking about my issue with Teen Titans Go. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. And honestly, I wasn't gonna make a video about this because I feel that so many people made a video about Teen Titans Go and their dislike for the show. But about three days ago, <laughs> I went to the movies to see Rampage, by the way, great movie, definitely recommended to watch it. But before I saw the movie, I saw the trailer for Teen Titans Go, the movie, and as you can imagine, it was terrible. <sighs> so yeah, let's talk about it, shall we? Before I start, let me just say. I know that Teen Titans Go, it's supposed to be a more kid-friendly version of Teen Titans. It's supposed to be, you know, fun and colorful. It's not supposed to be as serious, as dark as the original. I know that. I also know that you're not supposed to compare Teen Titans Go with the original, but when you're a huge fan of the original like I am, it's kind of hard not to compare it and cringe every time you see it on TV. First, let's start with characters. In the first original Teen Titans, you can see the characters evolve in each episode and each season. They're dimensional, you can relate to them because yes, even though they're superheroes and they fight crime, they're teenagers, they deal with regular teenager stuff like chores, emotions, dating. They have their own struggle that you feel like you can relate to them. With Teen Titans Go, however, I tried to watch it every time it's on, and I could not relate to any of the characters. I could not, because it is so stupid that I couldn't relate. Because they basically picked out all the worst personality traits, all the annoying traits that each character had, and shove it all in into one show. Like with Robin, he's the leader. He sees his friends like family. He's serious, but he also knows how to let go of his seriousness and have fun. <laughs> but with the new show, he is seen as a control freak, a total stuck up. He will throw a fit. If you don't follow the rules, he's totally obsessed with his abs and muscles and has this weird, creepy crush towards Starfire, which, yes, in the original, he has feelings towards Starfire, but it's not portrayed in the same way that the new show makes it to be. In the original, he makes you see, oh, he has a normal crush, you know, he has normal feelings for Starfire. He doesn't know how to address them, you know, because he's a t she's a team member. They make it seem normal. 
in the new show, it's so weird and creepy. <sighs> and I hate it. They make it, they basically make him see like this frat boy that will literally throw a fit if you don't follow the rules. Because that's how much he loves them. He also can't have fun because he's always serious and he's a stuck up 24-7. That is not survival. This is survival. <laughs> oh yes, I will have a side of maggots with my beetle. Another grasshopper? Oh, why not? Let's indulge. Pure protein! With Starfire, in the original, she's an alien princess who tries to behave as human as possible in her time on Earth. Uh, she's sweet, she's caring, she loves all her friends like family, but she's also very strong, independent, and very powerful. That's right. Bow down before your grand ruler. You may be the ruler of this planet, but you are not the ruler of me! stereotype you know like she's girly fritzy and she's stupid because she's an alien she doesn't know how to add human so she's stupid 24 7 completely clueless about how humans act and it's really annoying to a point that I actually hated Starfire in the new show which I never thought I would hate her because again she's one of my favorites Redonkulous! Oh dang! Also, with that logic, you know, with Starfire not being human, you would think with Raven, they would portray her the same way because Raven, she's not human, she's a demon. So, you would think they would also portray her that way. That she's stupid, completely clueless about the human race, but no, she's actually a lot worse. In the original, Raven is the daughter of a demon. She's the most powerful demon in the entire universe. She is compelled between, you know, being good or being what her creator wants her to be, which is destroy all humanity. You may have created me. But you were never my father. Wretched, insignificant. Fathers are kind. Fathers protect you. Fathers raise you. I was protected by the monks of Azeroth. I was raised by my friends. They are my family. This is my home. And you are not welcome here. Azerath Metreon Zintha! at this very emo, edgy teenager who happens to be the daughter of a demon who also has daddy issues and who secretly loves to watch My Little Pony. I'm not kidding. That's what actually happens in the show. Oh, look, Sparkle Face. It's Licorice Forest. But isn't that place full of trolls? 
Don't be silly, Sparkle Face. It's the home of our new friend, Princess Silky Soft. Nice to meet you, Princess Silky Soft. Your hair sure is. Bad Silky. Hmm. With Beast Boy and Cyborg, and I'm putting these two together because one, they're best friends, and two, they're similar with one another, obviously having their own struggles, but I also don't want to make this video way too long. <laughs> In the original, they're obviously best friends. They do pranks, they do silly jokes together, but they also have their serious moments, either together or separated. And I think at one point in the original, they had a fight and they went their separate ways and they stopped talking for a while. And I think you could relate to that because, yeah, you have a best friend, but sometimes you fight and you have a fallout and you stop talking to each other, but you find a way to make it better and become friends again. And you also know that your best friend might have other friends that you hang out with. You know, like, they're not joined at the hip together. They don't do everything together in the original, even though they're best friends. With the new show, they are basically frat boys. Like, there's no other way to explain it. There are frat boys who are basically joined by the hip because they're best friends. They can do anything separated. They must do everything together. All they do is do stupid pranks, stupid jokes, you know, acting very immature and do everything together like they're joined at the hip. But I get it, they're best friends, but it must get annoying, you know, being together 24-7, like they're joined at the hip. Waffles, 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 waffles. they take everything to the extreme this show Robin he's the leader let's make into a control freak Starfire she's an alien let's make her completely clueless about how humans act Raven she's a demon let's make her to this edgy emo teenager with daddy issues Beast Boy and Cyborg their best friends let's, let's make them into total frat boys or join at the hip and they can't do anything separated and all they do is stupid jokes that annoy everyone around them. Another thing I have an issue with is with the dialogue and the jokes that they make in the new show. They're all stupid. Like, no offense to anyone who likes the show. Like, good for you if you like it. I just don't understand anyone who's older than 8 can like the show, but if you like it, good for you, that is your taste. With the original, there's more dialogue, they have some serious moments, but they also have their funny moments where it's not serious all the time, they have their comic relief, and it's enjoyable, but the new show is just stupidity 24-7, like they don't have any serious moments where they kind of, you know, take off the comedy of your palette like there's nothing to balance out the comedy you know what I mean like you need to have something serious you know to, ha to feel your emotions and then you have you need to have something funny you know to kind of balance out the seriousness and then you show that it's there's none of that so yeah those were all the things that I had an issue with the new Teen Titans. I was going to talk about the animation, but honestly, I don't have a problem with the animation. Obviously, I like the original better than the new one, but personally, I don't have an issue with the animation. It is what it is. But, you know, just the original is it's a lot better. Anyways, thank you so much for watching me rant and complain about Teen Titans Go. And again, if you like the show, good for you. Don't get offended by my opinion. It's not that deep. Chill out, dude. It's not the end of the world if someone does not like the same thing as you do. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Anyways, 
thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and I'll see you guys on the next video. <laughs> Bye!